Okay guys, welcome back. We're gonna build a crosscut sled today for the table saw. You guys know I love doing shop projects that are gonna benefit me in the long run, make my life easier in making those projects. So let's get some plywood together. I got some scraps on hand. We're gonna make the runners out of solid red oak. And that's it, we're gonna make some test cuts. We're gonna see how accurate we are and we're gonna move on. Now what you wanna do here is just put it up against the miter slot and just kinda of give you a reference point. Mark off where you're gonna be and cut a little extra. This way you could sneak up on the cut. Now you wanna go ahead and cut your runners. Now here's the part where you just keep making cuts until you can fit it in the slot and you have a nice snug fit. You'll see at the end of the last cut that it fits perfect. Now I'll just cut this in half and I'll get two runners out of it. Okay, now I need to raise up the runners because if I put them in there just like this, they're going to hit the bottom. They're not even flush with the table. They're a little bit below. And that's what we want because when we have the sled attached, it's going to be completely flush with the table and everything will slide. It won't bottom out or sawdust won't bind it up as we uh, run the sled through. So what I'm going to do to raise it up, I'm just going to take a couple of these uh, nuts right here, throw them in to the tracks. You could use washers, you, you could use uh, spacers, anything that you have will do. And what that's going to do is allow me to drop the runners in and sit above the table. So that when I put some glue on there and drop my panel for the sled, it'll make contact. Okay, so I'm going to get them just close enough to even. And I'm going to set that to about 16 inches. And now my panel should hang over the left side a little bit better. What I'm going for here. More support on the left side, and that's what I have. Okay, so this is where it's going to be. I'm going to throw some glue on the runners. This is clamped down, and then I'm going to run some screws through the top because you don't need to run the screws through the bottom like some people do. It's just a lot more work when you have to let this glue dry and then pull it out and screw it from the bottom. You can glue it from the top as long as you, when you screw it in, you recess them when you, you know, countersink the screw heads, you'll be fine. I'm not going to interfere with anything. Now I'm just taking a T square. I'm going to line it up with a miter slot. Make myself a reference mark here. I'm going to move it over to the other side of the slot. Make another reference mark. We'll do the same over here for this runner. Now the runners, they fit, but they fit pretty tight. Probably because they swelled up a little bit from the glue, because it does have water in it. So what I'm gonna do is take some 80 grit sandpaper and a nice straight edge here, and just lightly take off just enough material where it's not gonna have any play, but it's gonna give me a, a nice easy glide across the top of the table. Once I get this fit perfect, I'm going to apply some paste wax. This way, it really glides through the table. Flip it over, give it another test. Okay, drop right in. Okay, that's what I like to see. A little paste wax will make that real smooth. Perfect. Now what we need to do, now that we got it fit good, I'm gonna put some weight on this side right here because we don't have the fence up yet. We're gonna slowly raise the blade through the middle and make a cut, not all the way through because we still have to have the fence on the front and the rear so that can hold it together. 
Okay, so before I raise that blade through there, I'm gonna apply some paste wax on this thing. Mix it. Now you gotta go on the sides of the runners. You don't put any on the bottom because that's not contacting anything, so it would be pointless. Get that off to the side. smoother. Now before we set up the fence and square it up to the actual sled, what we have to do is laminate some pieces together. So what I'm doing is taking some oak veneered plywood, which I know is very straight, and I'm going to glue that to another piece which is a little taller on the back of that. It gives me that thickness and protection from the blade. And then I'm going to take a nice six inch piece of three quarter plywood and I'm going to laminate that to the back where the blade goes. This way the blade is completely buried and makes it very safe as I run the sled through when I'm cutting pieces. So let's glue it up. Screw that together now. So here's the part that gets a little tricky. The rear fence that we just made has to be 100% 90 degrees to the blade. Otherwise, you're gonna make your cuts and they're not gonna be straight. And then you did it all for nothing. So what I'm gonna do is take a framing square. I'm gonna set it up against the blade, but to where it's not going to contact any of the teeth of the blade. We'll drill from the bottom and put in one screw. Once we get in one screw, then we set this back against the fence, and then we start to set the other side. You'll be able to, to move the fence with one screw as a pivot. So let's get one screw into the bottom of this fence here, and move from there. So we're gonna back out the table for this, and we're gonna clamp it down. Now I'm going to put a couple more screws in the rest of the fence, then we're going to make a cut, see how far off we are, if we're off at all, and then we can readjust. Now the back of the crosscut sled, the fence itself is more to hold it together when we run the blade all the way through, so the plywood doesn't separate the actual sled. So it's not critically important, but you want to have it straight, so just flush it up with the edge of the sled. A couple of screws, clamp it down, you're done. Now here's the part where you raise the blade and run it all the way through. So here's one piece of the cutoff. 1.16 1.16. All right, so that's good there. All right, so I got a square. 
uh, cutoff that was 1.16 and 1.16 on the other side. It, it might be a little less than a thousandth of an inch off, but that's absolutely perfect. Here's one side right here. Got no light coming through there, no gaps. Flip it around. Same thing. Absolute 90 degrees. And even with the small square, with 90 degrees to the fence and the blade. All right, guys, so that's it for this project. It's done. I might throw a little more paste wax on the bottom because I just did it lightly for now, but uh, this is definitely going to come in handy. And you guys know I love doing shop projects because it only benefits me in the long run, and it will, you know, benefit you guys also. So uh, if you're looking to do a project like this, just remember what I said. You can screw through the top into the runners. You don't need to do it from underneath and make yourself crazy pulling it out little by little, clamping it down, being off a little bit. And uh, that's it, guys. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. And follow me on Instagram. Um, I'll post the Instagram link in the account. You can also find it on the bio. And uh, follow me on there, and I post some uh, pictures of uh, my latest projects and things like that. And I'll follow you back. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.